Hello, sixth grade parents and students at Paseo Point. This is Mrs. B talking to you about how online music is going to go for, for now. We don't know how long it's going to be, but the social distancing is very important to make sure that everyone is safe, not just our students, but their families. So basically the, the way this is going to go is I'm going to do a video and in that video somewhere will be embedded in an assignment. The reason I'm doing it that way is I'm taking my time to make these videos so I feel like it's important for you guys to watch the videos. So it could be um, directions to go to a certain website and tell me something that's on the website. It, you could have to email me something. Uh, you could have to send me a video of you doing something. Or it could be just you answering a question. I'm going to try to mix it up and keep it interesting for you guys. It's never going to be something that's super long. And if it is something that's longer, it is going to be something fun. But um, that's basically how this is going to go. You can always email me with questions. Google Classroom is set up for you guys. That's where I'm going to be posting everything. Once you answer the question I embed in the video, that will be your guys' um, points for the week. Okay? All right, so let's get started. So we are going to talk about Anna Kendrick. She's a very, um, not up and coming, she's she's up and she's she's there, artist. She's Tony nominated for um, starring in Pitch Perfect, as well as her roles in Up in the Air, A Simple Favor, and in Twilight. She obviously didn't have a singing part in Twilight, but she was in Twilight as the best friend who became not really the best friend. So she's an actress and also a singer who has received Tony, Tony, Tony nominations for her work in the Broadway musical High Society in 1998. She's been around for a lot longer than we've actually realized. She um, was in, she debuted on the silver screen that's in the movies in 2003 in the movie Camp. Then she did, 2008, she did Twilight. And then she did Perf Pitch Perfect in 2012. Um, and she's known mainly for her comedic roles, and she also starred in films like Up Into the Air, into the Woods, Another Singing One, and A Simple Favor. So she was born in August of 1985 in Portland, Maine. She was a promising young actress, and she actually started her career when she was in her teens. She received a Tony Reward in 1998 when she was 13 years old. Then she made her, fam her film de debut in 2003. Uh, this was in Camp. It's an independent comedy that basically follows the misadventures of a songwriter who works at a summer musical theater program for young people. It's pretty funny. I like it. Now, in 2007, she did a coming-of-age comedy called Rocket Science, where she's a girl who's popular and also a skilled debater who lures a boy with a stutter to join the debate team. She also had a chance to showcase her vocal talents on te television with an appearance in Viva Laughlin, which is a musical drama that only lasted a few episodes. If you guys are seeing, she does lots of music stuff. She's not just an actress. She's also a great singer. Um, she did a supporting role in Twilight in 2008, 2008 and became an international sensation when that movie, like, skyrocketed. Um, she was also in the sequels. Then in 2009, she kind of graduated to more mature roles, like Up in the Air, which was a cross-country track taken by two people in, who are hired, basically, by companies to fire unwanted employees instead of them doing it themselves. Um, then she got she actually got a an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress on this, and her um, co-star in that movie, Vera Farmiga, also got the same category. Now, she was in the movie in 2010 called Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I saw that one in movie theaters on a date. This one had a lot of fun people in it. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Seth Rogen. Um, she also co-starred in the movie What to Expect When You're Expecting and The Company You Keep. And Pitch Perfect happened in 2012, and this was a surprise success. This was not something they thought it was going to be kind of like that musical theater niche, but it actually took off. Um, it had Becca Mitchell in it, who was, you know, she was Becca Mitchell, a college freshman who leads the all-female acapella group, the Barton Bellas, to the national championships. Um, this was one of the biggest box office hits of her career, and her version of Cups actually cracked the top 10 of the Billboard Hot 100, which doesn't happen a lot with songs from movies, especially like a song that's not like a theme in the movie. Um, a lot of her co-stars, including Rebel Wilson, Brittany Snow, and Anna Camp, returned for that, both the sequels. 
in 2014, she did Into the Woods, which is another big screen musical. Like, it was a musical that which we watched. Uh, I don't know if you're, you guys did it. Like, I know we did it last year, but I can't remember if fifth grade did it. But they watched. She played Cinderella. Um, she also did an indie drama called Cake. Then she also did Trolls, which was in 2016. She did quite a few movies that year. Remember, she did that one with Justin Timberlake. I feel like those songs by the kids are still something that everybody wants to listen to. So along with her impressive list of screen credits, she's very hilarious and known for candid comments on social media. She has more than 7 million followers on Twitter. She actually has showcased her humor and opened up a little bit about her hum- about her childhood, her anxieties, and her struggles in Hollywood in 2016 in a book, her memoir, that was called Scrappy Little Nobody. So here, I'm giving you guys kind of a short lesson this week because I'm not exactly sure how this is going to how this is working, but basically I told you guys about Anna Kendrick because I want you guys to attempt to learn the cup video, the cup, the cup video, the cup choreography from Pitch Perfect When I'm Gone, from Cups When I'm Gone. I'm going to put the video down for you, uh, learn the routine, and then you, I'm going to give you a video also. I'm going to give you a video on how to learn it. Then I'm going to send you another video link that will actually, you can play along with it. And if you can actually send me a video of you doing it along with the song, you don't have to sing. You could just play the song and do the cups with it. I will give you a shout out in next week's video. I thought it would be something fun, you know, better than a worksheet or answering a question. So that is that. I wanted to just talk a little bit about Anna Kendrick. If you need some movies to watch, Pitch Perfect movies are fun. Um, Into the Woods not as good as watching the musical, but it was still pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to go check out that movie Camp, though, because that one sounds pretty funny. Uh, Also, if you want to, you can tell me what your favorite movie by Anna Kendrick is, if you've actually watched any of those other ones. So, yeah, you need to send me a video of you performing the cups or attempting to perform the cups, because I can't do it. I think if I practiced it, I could, but I know you guys are much better at this stuff. All right, guys, so I will post both of those links for you, and you guys make sure that you get that done so you can get your points for the week. Peace out.